Hey, what's going on, everybody? So, yes, back with my Mercury the Sign series, tailored to you coaching. Sagittarius Moon is in the house, but I'm doing Mercury. Go check out my Moon Sign series so you can learn about Sagittarius Moon. That's what came, uh, what, 3 o'clock Eastern this morning and like 12 something on the Pacific time for the next two and a half, three days. Moon and Sagittarius. Well, now it's Moon and Mercury. Who are these people? Uh, the ruler of Jupiter, the ninth house. Well, here, you know, it's at home in Gemini, exalted in Virgo, and detriment in Pisces. So Sagittarius, the opposite of Gemini, and Mercury, it falls here. So you, you know, Mercury is about learning, communication, business. Sagittarius is the philosopher, optimistic, right? Your beliefs, your uh, higher learning, foreign lands, foreign cultures, being extremely positive, optimistic. So we'll get into all that. The regular, right? I'm gonna break it down. We'll go inside, you hear my little write up. Some of the famous Mercury sign people, mutable fire, Sagittarius, Jay Z, Christina Aguilera, Ben Stiller, Jamie Foxx, Tyga, uh, Britney Spears, Mary J. Blige, Tina Turner, um, Tyrese. Yeah, man. So these people, they can sing, they can be very spiritual, they got this optimistic connection to God, they can be dogmatic. Nicki Minaj, they're great writers, but they, um, their writing is better when they're really connected to God in a spiritual way, which is Jay-Z right over. So anyway, there's more, we'll break it down. Your boy Taylor to you coaching, Eric Taylor. Check it out, Sagittarius and Mercury, all right? All right, I'm back. What's up, Sag? So, Sagittarius and the sign of Mercury. Now, it's, of course, it's gonna matter what house it would be placed in. You need to get your birth chart done. So you hit me up, tailored to you, coaching at gmail.com. All right, we do your birth chart so you can learn. And um, so it would matter, right? If you've got this mutable fire, Jupiter, you know, ruler ruled by the planet Jupiter and the ruler of the ninth house and your Mercury sign, all right? This is your beliefs, your philosophies, being optimistic. So your speech, because that's what Mercury is, right? We're not talking about sun, moon, or rising sign. Mercury is how we communicate, how we think, how we learn, right? How we process, right? So everybody learns uh, in many different ways. Oof, it's windy. So Sagittarius, they can be uh, accountants, mathematicians, right? Jupiter is good at math, science, good researchers, but they could be great uh, professors. Also, these people could be very dogmatic. They could be uh, prophets or religious teachers or gurus, right? And preachers, it could be a pastor of a church, a mega church. Well, because Mercury, one, they're gonna love to learn. They're gonna love higher education. So you could definitely see a, a professor, right? Or, a, you know, or a philosopher, right? Socrates, Plato. Um, but they're gonna, just like the Sagittarius sun with the Mercury, they're gonna stick to the teachings that they most likely got um, as a child, right? In terms of the way that they wanna teach and learn and share it. They, they might communicate it in a funny way. They're great storytellers. Now, Mercury is travel or does travel around with the sun, okay? So if your sun signs in Sag, your Mercury could be Sag, Scorpio, or Capricorn. I mean, you're, that's what your sun sign can be. If, you're, if your Mercury is in Sagittarius, your sun sign could be Sag, Scorpio, or Capricorn. So it stays very close, okay? Um, and you know, like Jamie Foxx, Nicki Minaj, Jay-Z, Britney Spears, they're all Sagittarius. I'm not sure what Mary J. Blige is. I can't remember everything for you guys. Look it up. <laughs> Please uh, share and like and subscribe down low. I really uh, appreciate it. And, and check out my website, tailoredtoyoucoaching.com. Share this video with people and, and just, you know, spread the good word. Spread the gospel. 
Now my mercury is not inside, so I'm not trying to preach, but I am trying to teach because I want you to know astrology and learn about yourselves and, um, and, and share that with the world, right? Because it is important to know these things. So you're gonna be funny. You could be a great writer, a good sports writer. You know, you can be someone who's a, a financial uh, advisor or planner, okay? All these things. Sometimes I like to switch up the angle, give you a little different way to give it a poetry in the astrology today for Sag and Mercury. That's why Jay-Z goes by Hova B, right? So think about Jay-Z and, and Tyrese and Tyga and Nicki Minaj, Christine Aguilera, Britney Spears. So the way that they speak, you know, no matter what they go through, they just seem to be so resilient and optimistic. That's Sag, right? And Ben Stiller, you know, they just have a certain way about them. So I give you the famous people so you have an idea of someone you know, you think you know, right? To relate to a little bit. But just think, you know, with Sagittarius and Mercury, it's hard because Gemini wants to ask questions, right? And, 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 and logical more thinking. And same with Virgo, it's thinking, analyzing, right? That's Mercury in terms of how it learns. Well, Sagittarius and Mercury is different in the sense that it's so philosophical, but it can be very arrogant because it's higher learning. So they're very intelligent. So when it's in Mercury, they might think they know everything that they don't need to learn to listen from from others. Right. So they're more about trying to teach you. But the, even the greatest teachers, they listen so they can learn from others. Right? That's what we got to do more in our society today. With all that's going on, you have to listen. Listen to all sides. Now, some folks ain't speaking nothing, and they can be too dogmatic, but, you know, we all have a voice. So, Sagittarius and Mercury, because it falls here, it's not the best placement, but they're going to be funny. They're going to be uh, interesting. They like to have fun. It's expansion. That's what Jupiter is. It's all about expanding. So they might be soft-spoken or shy at times, but around their friends, they can talk a lot of smack. And they're funny and, and good wit. But they drip a swag, but there's some arrogance behind it too. Um, and they'll stick to the teachings from their parents or close to it. So whatever philosophies they learned, whether it was the church or the street game or, you know, put family first, whatever's the, in their sort of wheelhouse, they're going to stick to. And that's not always bad, but sometimes it could be bad if you were raised in a cult or raised in, uh, you know, <laughs> Ku Klux Klan or something crazy, right? A hate group. So it, it's, it's interesting. But they will, they'll learn from the repetition they communicate with the repetition so even when they're writing their rhymes they should just repeat it repeat it repeat it repeat it and they they learn good same with their ly lyrics and their uh voice is going to be it will surprise you because it'll be big what they say will be big um but it could still be soft-spoken but it comes out big and you hear it that way and their broad scope. Sagittarius likes to, you know, they're like they are the teacher and the guru. They like to see the big picture. They like to zoom out where other people don't. Some people have a narrow minded point of view. You know, Sag, they're kind of, I wouldn't say open minded, but they do see, try to see the big picture. But sometimes it comes from their point of view, right? Like Libra, the judge, jury, prosecution, defense of their own court of laws. Well, Sagittarius is just like, I'm right. <laughs> but don't care what you say. I'm right. So, um, Sag, work on that. Uh, change that philosophy and be open-minded because the more you learn or willing to listen to others, the more you can learn. Let that be your philosophy. But, um, but we need you because you are a great teacher and you are optimistic and fun-loving and funny and great storytellers. Um, and really could be 
brilliant math teacher or an accountant or, um, you know, they like to research because they care about foreign lands and foreign cultures. So, you know, they, they can have any career, but they, they want to speak. I mean, think about these famous people. They want to speak to the whole world, right? Jay-Z, Tyrese, Mary J. Blige, they, you know, you feel what they're saying. Britney Spears, Aguilera, you know? So, fascinating. Definitely fascinating. And, um, you know, I love it. You like it? I love it. <laughs> All right, Sag. I think we're pretty much done. It's time to go inside before it rains. It was a cool day here, cool and cloudy, 102 degrees. <laughs> We've been 108, 110 all week, so um, yeah, that's uh, that's the reels. All right, check out the write up, the breakdown, and um, just always consider others, and you. You want to, you know, not be closed-minded. Meditate, pray, and obviously, if your Mercury is in different houses, it's, um, you know, even in Sagittarius, it could be in the fifth house. It'll be more fun-loving. The seventh house, it'll be more about, you know, love and relationships. Tenth house, it'll be more focused on, you know, making that dough and its fame. Get your birth chart done, all right? Hit me up, Eric Taylor, Taylor to you coaching. You get it done, you learn about yourself, your kids, you can become a better parent, but it's about knowledge of self. That's the journey of life. If you don't know yourself, how can you, <laughs> you don't have the insight, you, you can't heal, you can't really grow. You need to do this and get true self-love, increase your self-love so then you can love others. That's what's wrong with the world right now. People don't really love themselves, that's why they act out in hate. So wake up. Open up your mind and your philosophies. Whoop, whoop. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Tell it to you, coaching. All right. An MC all the time. Spit it with the rhyme. Always gonna shine the greatest of all time. Let's go inside. Sagittarius and Mercury. Great writers. You're dope. I know you're dope. I'm not questioning or doubting you, even if it falls in Mercury. Sagittarius and Mercury people, whatever your sun and moon and your whole chart is. You're fun. And I like to hear your stories. Sometimes you expand and you're full of hot air. Watch that. Try to be a little humble because you can get too arrogant. And that can be your downfall. All right, Taylor to you coaching. We're back in size, Sagittarius and Mercury. Woo! Yeah, this is deep. Taylor to you coaching. Sagittarius and Mercury, mutable fire sign ruled by Jupiter and ruler of the ninth house. Mercury, as it falls here, this is a speech that is fun, optimistic, intelligent, and all about sharing viewpoints. These people have strong beliefs. Very philosophical and at times dogmatic, very positive speakers and you seek the best outlook and see the big picture. Knowledge is key and love higher learning can be stuck in your beliefs and can be big teachers. Love to have fun and can be storytellers, can be a great teacher, professor, pastor or preacher and can be very arrogant. You think you always know the truth here. You can be an accountant, preacher, math teacher, run a mega church. Great writer, even a sports writer, and great entertainers. Famous Sagittarius, Mercury people, Christina Aguilera, John Legend, LeBron James, Britney Spears, Jamie Foxx, Taga Ben Stiller, Mary J. Bleach, Nicki Minaj, Tina Turner, Jay-Z, Future, Trey Songs, Therese. Tyrese, Jay-Z, Britney Spears, Tina Turner, Mary J. Blige. Come on, Sarah, you should know that. <laughs> Yo, John Legend. I mean, Nicki Minaj. Yeah. <clears throat> so, Sagittarius and Mercury, you're something. 
Like I said, you're either a Scorpio, a Sagittarius, or a Capricorn sun sign. You could have whatever moon and rising. You need to learn about astrology. Get your chart done. LeBron James, hit me up. Jay-Z, hit me up. Tyga, Britney Spears, Aguilera, hit me up. Eric Taylor, Taylor to you coaching. I could do your birth chart. I got you. All right? You owe me that, Jay-Z. We didn't get to battle outside of the New Music Seminar in 1994, right? When your boy Clark Kent took you inside. With me and Stony Island, those kids rhyming from Chicago and Mad Skills were out there freestyling. This is during the time the Biggie and Craig Mack were first coming out with, with Diddy. I was there. All right. So, you know, I see complete stories, right? But it's all about astrology right here. Taylor to you coaching at gmail.com. Let's get your birth chart done. Sagittarius, you are wisdom. Very wise, poetic, philosopher. You learn through research, through your teachings, your beliefs. Your speech is deep. You care about education and wisdom and higher knowledge and higher learning. And strong spiritual beliefs. All right? So that's it. Sagittarius and Mercury, you're done. Maybe next up I'll do a Taurus or Scorpio. Vote down below. Share, like, subscribe. Join my tribe, my crew, my clan. Black Lives Matter, you know what I'm saying, my man, on Lafayette Avenue in D.C. Get down with the world changing and fixing and healing all humanity. All right? Enjoy this Sagittarius moon. Change is coming. Tailored to you, coaching. Peace.